Sup guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Ocarina of Time Master Quest. And what the hell? Is that a fucking hands or feet? Shit. 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 Fuck. Shit. 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 Fuck. Shit. 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 Oh, whoa. What the hell is you? Bongo Bongo. And this is... Phantom Shadow Beast Bongo Bongo. This guy is easily one of the harder bosses in the game. I don't know if it's due to controls or or just so much the fact that Link or Link has some issues. But what you want to do here is you want to try to shoot these hands so you, with your arrows ASAP. And here's the boss, Bongo Bongo, Shadow of the Boss of the Shadow Temple, revived from the well. Look at it with the Eye of Truth. So basically, what the reason why you want to have your uh, your hover boots on is to basically make it easier to uh, keep yourself stable throughout the whole fight while he's beating the damn drum. And you want to make sure to uh, have yourself at the ready here when it's doing this. Yeah, punk. Then you can do this attack over and over again, but of course he'll recover, so try to be quick on this. Punk. Oh shit, not good. You missed, buddy. And as you can see, the hands have wonderful attacks. And if you don't hit him when he's charging towards you, expect to see three hearts of damage and get knocked out of the fucking arena. I guess maybe I should give this guy a little bit of a chance. And that's pretty much all I can give it. Because this guy can do this shit. Oh fuck. Oh. Damn it, don't be smacking my head off my shoulders. Damn, I might need that shit. Fuck. But yeah, as you can see, this guy does a ton of damage. This is what happens if you don't just do anything here. He hits you for three fucking hearts. And pretty much almost out of the arena, so please do not let that happen. Definitely one of his worst attacks. Shit. Get the hell out of my face with that. So yeah, that charge attack. What the hell? Thank you, game. Can you give me another hit like that? I could have sworn I only hit that fucking... Hit that shit. Oh, crap. Damn, man. Alright, looks like he's still recovering. Don't be punching me. So, yes, this is pretty much the... The origin of Mastering Crazy Hand, possibly? Or maybe it's just another... It's just another rehash of High Rock. Don't be trying to be... Trying to confuse me in every way. <clears throat> Master. I want this shit. Okay, looks like I'm still running out of magic though. Shit! No! 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 Fuck! Okay, potion sounds good to write about now. Fuck. Drink it, Link! Drink it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, Link. Now you can live a little bit longer, shit. Not good. But yeah, as you can see, this boss can be... Damn it, fucker. Damn, two hearts. You missed with that. And you're next. Oh. Mm. Ah, damn it. You're trying to make this a long, hard-ass fight on me, aren't you? Shit. Not good. Get the fuck off me. Are you trying to shake the hell out of me? Fuck. Damn, man. Yes, I know, games. Stop telling the obvious. Stop walking on, Navi. Fuck. Get me up here. Oh, shit. Damn, man. I'm starting to run out of arrows. Not good. Fuck. You're kind of missing me, buddy. Okay, I need to get this potion. Okay, now we can probably hopefully finish this fucking boss in the next minute. Damn, man. Damn it! Fucking don't be punching me like that. Alright, let's go. I'm ready for you. Come on, fucking hell. God, I hate this boss sometimes. This is the problem with having the hover boots on. This is probably why I would suggest maybe putting them, taking them off. Or maybe waiting. Damn it! Fuck! 
or maybe waiting until the boss his hands are all damaged so you can get your hits in. Nice enough fucking hell. Oh shit. Where are ya? Where are ya? Come on. <clears throat> Fucker, let's go. Great, I'm starting to run low on everything right now. Arrows. That's shit, not good. Okay, taking the fucking hover boots off is starting to become a hassle on me. Kokiri boots, come to my possession. Alright, fucker. Let's spin this. Mm. Damn it, you're still not done? Shit. Okay. Hover boot time. Okay. Man, only got three arrows left. Gotta fuck. Not good. Not good. Get the fuck off me. Not good. Shit. Ah, damn, man. Threw me out of the fucking arena. Luckily, if you have the hover boots when you get blown out of the arena, I believe it prevents you from taking damage needlessly. Ah, man, this guy is taking a long ass time. I'm just doing a good job sucking ass. Shit. And I'm out of fucking. Asshole. Damn it. This is not good. I am officially out of arrows. Shit. Let's try it. See if I can maybe, you know. Ooh, there we go. And if this is what happens, you have to run out of arrows. You gotta resort to getting punched in the face. Fuck. Ugh. Damn it. Get up, Link. Get up. You still got 14 hearts left. Yeah, little fucker. Get that shit out of me. Damn it! Okay. Gotta get myself out of these boots. I'm running closer. Mm, bitch! And this is probably the, one of the more interesting death animations from the bosses. He drums to his defeat. And this is pretty awesome death animation afterwards. He just kind of melts. <laughs> nice. Go over back to the shadows from which you came, bitch. Link is not pleased with your presence anymore. Thank fucking god, this boss. Seven minute fight. Partially due to my failure. But we got ourselves another heart container and... Man, all, all sorts of other things, like bruises and injuries to talk about. <clears throat> Nevertheless, Link goes, gets into yet another crystal, and we get to go back to the Chamber of Sages, yet again. And I guess we're gonna meet Impa, since we've already been spoiled of the details. Sup, Impa, how you doing? Glad to see you t again after such a long-ass time. The boy with the noble... Th yeah. Yep, I came. Yep, I know. I guess you might be, uh... You might be Sheik's, uh... Higher up, maybe? I don't know. Mm-hmm. However... What? Yeah, I knew about... I know about that. I was the one that caused it. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to. One of the keys in the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the orc ring of time. Well, he didn't get it, I still have that shit. Yeah, you did a good job. I mean, the last time I checked, it, I was help helping your ass out, getting away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, really? So... It the size of the hero counts, is what you're saying? Come on. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, thank goodness, because I'm confu I'm still slightly confused at what the hell is going on exactly. Yay, that sounds awesome. So basically, looks like things might get cleared up if I can find that last sage. Alright, that's... Alright, that's fine, Impa. I 
don't think he really done too much other than, you know, protect Zelda after all. And now, Link finally gets yet a mother another medallion of ass kicking. Thank goodness. This one was a little particular tough or particularly tough to get in terms of fighting a tricky ass boss, but Link has yet another medallion to show off to his friends. Look at the purple color. Okay, so we're now done with the Shadow Temple. Alright, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, so we're all done with that. Thank goodness. And it looks like the rainy days... It's still rainy, but it's not so, it's not so dark now. Sweet. Alright guys, so that should end the video... No, wait. Wait. We still got plenty of time left. Don't even start that mess. I'm not in the mood. But we definitely did quite a bit, guys. We kicked some serious ass. We were able to get another, yet another heart container. And we didn't die horribly, thank god. I think what I'm gonna do to celebrate is I'm gonna get myself a nice shiny new wallet. Cause god forbid I'm slightly exhausted. Okay, let's see. Hey, sup buddy, you're new. How you doing? Yeah. Here's a reward for you, sweet. Bigger wallet, fuck yes. God, I was getting tired of carrying around the dinky wallet. Or the adult wallet, quote unquote. Alright guys, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on a little side quest adventure known as the Trading Saga. And here's how to start the shit off, guys. I believe what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to talk to this lady. Sup, lady. I brought a new type of miniature chu chuko. I call it a pocket chuko or kuko. God, I cannot fucking say. I'm about to call them pocket lines. Jeez. Uh huh. Really now? How? How the hell do you not get goosebumps? Mm hmm. Makes him very happy to crow cuckoo. Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my kuko is not entirely happy right now. You. You look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Yeah, I guess so. Take this egg. After the egg hatches, or the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while and it'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Of course. So yes, guys, this starts the trading quest. And you know how a trading quest goes, guys? Usually you get something really good at the end of the quest. This is the quite... This is clearly the same. So guys, next time, while I try to hatch this damn egg, uh, we'll start on the trading quest and see what we can obtain from all of this. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day and adios. I will say this, though. Wherever you want to might... Wherever you might want to use this certain egg, I believe, is in a certain house in Kakariko Village. What's up, buddy? Hey, young man, a grown boy like you entering a person's house without permission? I want to talk to your parents. Uh, oh well. This isn't my house anyways. This is the Great Impa's house. Great Impa has gone to the graveyard to seal up the humongous creature there. Since Ganondorf appeared, many monsters have been sighted around here. Yeah, I know. Oh, the Great Impa... Yes. Yeah, you have to remember... Yeah, I do remember that. Stop saying oh well. Stop talking. Oh, she's a sage. That's the reason why you haven't heard of her. Mm-hmm. God, you were talking too damn much, sir. Damn, I just wanted to, like, get stuff done. But nevertheless, guys... What the hell is up here? Ooh. Frickin' red rubies up here. Sweet. So nevertheless, guys, let's... Let's take a break from this game, and next time we're going to see if we can start that nice little side quest. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios. Link, I'm getting really tired of how small your quiver is, buddy. Let's see if we can expand that by doing this real quick. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I want to play this. I got 20 rubies to kill. Oh, for grown-ups. Well, good thing I'm a grown-up this time. Uh, oh crap. There we go, one down. 
So this is pretty much kind of like the... Ah, fuck you, game. I got that one. So this is pretty much kind of like the, uh... The, uh... Shooting gallery back in, uh... Hyrule Castle time, except with arrows. Kind of nice in, the, in that respect. Fuck yeah. Aw, oh, damn it. Almost. Fine, I'll just let me try again then. Of course, the thing about this one that's different is that it's not predetermined. It's not in the predetermined order. It basically can go from this... Ah, oh, damn it. To just, like, going to the blue ones or just popping this one out. So it's... You can't just rely on patterns here. That's all I can suggest. Alright. And I guess he's gonna pull these out at the same time. Damn it. Fuck. Almost. Alright, let, just let me do it one last time, damn it. Uh-oh. Fuck yes. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. Damn it. Alright. Alright. I think I got this, guys. I don't fuck up. Yes! Give it to me. Give me that damn quiver. Make it bigger. What's my fantastic present? The big quiver. Now I can carry up to 40. And I don't think there... I forget how to extend that more, but 40 is fucking good. So guys, I think this will be a good place to stop and... Adios.